So now that we know how to create the actual digital video files out of Templator, what I'm going to show you now is how to replicate your target composition into many different compositions within your project panel. So let's go back into AE. Okay, so I've got this composition that I've set up with all my rules. And instead of hitting render, I'm going to go ahead and hit make comps. And this button essentially takes all the data from that you've set up in your render options and it creates this folder called templator comps. And if I look inside this folder, I have a bunch of subfolders. And these subfolders are named according to all of the settings that I have here, right? I've got the tutorial prepended, I've got the target composition that I set up in my preferences, and then I've got the uh, row index from the spreadsheet. Now, within each of these is a new composition that has the same name as its subfolder. Now, the reason I did this is because this is not a very complex example, but when you get a really complex composition, you might have to duplicate composi nested compositions within a composition. So if I double click here, I can see that here's my first uh, row, here's my third row, and here's my fourth row, et cetera, et cetera. So this is useful when uh, you may not want to render immediately outside of Templator, but you just want to create these compositions that you might want to distribute to a team or that you might want to your, yourself tweak before they actually get sent to render. Now, what's nice about this feature, though, is that in your preferences dialog is you have the option to add the generated comps to the render queue. So you can see here I've check marked this. So if I go back to my render queue, and kind of bring this up a little bit, you're going to see that these are these new compositions that got replicated um, are queued up to render. So now I can just hit render and it's going to output to the actual folder that I have specified here. So it's just a nice convenient feature. You can also specify Templator to send the generated comps to the Adobe Media Encoder only if you're on Creative Cloud. So if you check that, and you click OK, and then you do the make comps again, not only will it queue it up in its own render queue, but it'll also send that to the Adobe Media Encoder. One quick note about making these compositions and replicating them. When you replicate a composition, the replicas themselves will not contain the templator settings effect on any of the layers within that replica. Only the original target composition will have that templator settings effect applied to each layer.